Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to beat, <laughs> not beat, survive as long as possible in Legendary Iron Man. But not just that, uh, double enemy squad size plus yellow alert plus ABA plus about 60 hardcore enemy mods and a lot of uh, nerfs for us make this a truly staggering experience. We are so close in month number six to finally get our armor upgrades uh, when the, these missions came up and despite my best attempt, I am not daring to let the missions go. I would rather go in with um, top level soldiers and um, our normal Kevlar armor. It is a bit of a greedy play. And I hope I will not regret it, but if we can pull it off, we can actually skip uh, the normal armor tier. That would save us quite a few resources and instead we would get uh, to powered armor immediately. But before that even happens, we got collectors, we got bandits and we got the nasty dark dark elders in a very difficult mission. So I assume either the hunter or the... Um, uh, snake King will be here and this time I am prepared to not let the Snake uh, King escape because we have our nice little um, frozen grenade with us. Uh, we got Dilly G uh, just recently promoted uh, sufficient hit points uh, from being a major. I take some blue screen rounds against potential robots. Um, we got our survival gear, uh, the only uh, bio nanoscale vest that we do have in order to let Euler uh, hit a little bit uh, or take a hit a little bit better. This here is against uh, any major enemy. Grell is here for healing. We got tail and rounds with uh, sonar and we're using shadow plus I am slotting in the spark because I want that one uh, uh, that uh, first promotion that would get us uh, into uh, more steady f uh, fire. The spark itself is a good second edition just to use it for shredding because everything seems to have armor and if just oiler needs to shred all of the time that creates a problem. Also it has a rocket launcher uh, with no range require, uh, not as much range requirements as the grenade launcher. So the, the spark actually fits the composition quite nicely and we are relatively low on grenadiers because a lot of them died. Okay, so we landed nine turns and we got a container ready to go. Let's first of all start to scout out. <clears throat> Shadow's moving ahead. Oh wow, okay, that is... that's a lot to take in. No reason for them to hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. We could kill two. Right there. Problem is everybody will uh, start to activate now. Because you can see, these here are Advents, whilst these here are Dark Elders. But if we kill both of the Advents, for instance with a remote start, then that, funnily enough, should... Well, we haven't killed them. Although the Viper is trying to kill itself, Good. Well, it's a start. I'm not uh, saying it is the best start ever, but it is certainly a start. Already killed one, and we have just begun. Grell moves up. How many people would Euler see? It's barely two. Of 
could we somehow get him up here? Yes, we can. Like, that wouldn't be too bad. He could lay the hate from over here. We just need to keep him safe. That's all. For now, full cover over here. We can see three enemies. That's fine. And Sonar begins to move up as well. Very good. And we just found a couple of bandits. Alright, I would... I will engage next turn. As per my own rules. But that extra little time that we got is actually quite helpful. And there are more enemies. Wow. It's going to be one of those missions where it's going to be complete and utter carnage. Everybody will fight everybody. The bandits score to kill. And, of course, triggered more advents because, you know, why not? If you're the weakest faction, aka the bandits, might as well just trigger all of the enemies. <laughs> and then they moved and just got shed on. The idea with the infantry is actually quite good. Um, shoots relatively frequent and so on and so forth. But unfortunately that does not help you. If there is four armor... However, seeing that that guy just hit for 11 points of damage, stun acid burn, that's deeply concerning. Alright, Dark Elders do Dark Elder things, which is going in and just ripping everything uh, to pieces. Okay, I guess we can start with uh, an a kill zone. Before we, we engage though, let's continue scouting out. Just because we need to engage doesn't mean we need to do it in a stupid way. So if we hit this here, that would also explode the car, which would damage the Prime Marauder and the guy over here. It's a little bit of a cheeky shot, but that damages five enemies, so it's a worthwhile claymore. Uh, yep, let's go over here. Why are we not seeing that Claymore? Oh, come on. It's clearly uh, it's clearly visible. What's the problem? All right, instead of just taking one shot, how about this? And we're taking three shots. Kill uh, kill zone.
All right, we already concluded. We will need to do something here. And that is starting <clears throat> to engage in combat. Euler two times death from above. Before eventually overwatching. Spark moves over here. Missed a nice little ninety four percent shot. Good, this is very safe. We're far enough away from anyone. Ooh, and we could haywire that mech. It's potentially not worth it. Recover an uh, alien facility lead. That is great. Disorient uh, all of the enemies for three turns. Also fantastic. But I will do that when I, we have time. You can't handle me. There's likely no one up there. Carefully moving up. In case someone comes, let's overwatch. Okay, was it just a sign that uh, the Chosen is going to join? Oh, yeah, okay, well. Okay, regeneration, immunity to explosions. Well, that's all fine and good. I appreciate that. Commander, one of the chosen is here. We'll have to deal with it before it's even more enemies. This is complete carnage. I love it. Now, kill zone. Ah, first miss, unfortunate. We have two more shots. We don't have that sweet, sweet superior expanded magazine yet. Almost got him down. And another hit. So that's 14 points of damage, <clears throat> which is a solid, which is a solid result for one action. Oh, even more enemies are coming. Okay. It's crazy to see just how many enemies uh, have uh, have huddled up. The extra uh, the extra enemies uh, per four strengths <coughs> really starts to really starts to shine. Hey, the Dark Elders, as always, seem to get uh, the upper hand here.
Okay. Everybody starts taking shots at that uh, at that trooper. It's one of those guys with the deflection shield. This would explode the grenade, which would explode in here. So I think we can go ahead with it. Uh, only action that I would take is let's reload first. That's two kills. And a bit of injury over there. Okay, cool. Starting to hit the Dark Elders because, as always, they seem to be a rather strong faction. Okay, so Mech uh, begins to move to here. Let's try to get the heck. I'll give it a shot. I like that alien lead. Problem is, it's a 50 50. Okay, well, that worked out well. To be honest, one set of reinforcements really wouldn't have changed a whole lot here. This whole, uh, whole setup strikes me as one where we're going to have a massive shootout. No matter how or where we're going uh, to go about it. Um, look, I mean... I really think Grell can uh, fight rather from the back line. Don't need to overdo it. I don't want to be pushing into into the unknown, so we're sticking here for now. Overwatch and Overwatch. Okay, that rack has been hit heavily, and it's down to thirteen hit points. Thanks to the explosions. Now Edwin tries to hit the elders. But it seems that the elders still have the upper hand. I don't know how many... How many... Um, Edwins are left. And I'll be pushing a little bit deeper with uh, the Reaper so that we can uh, we can take a good look. And we're playing this one safe. Front to back fight. Trying to focus on the Elders for now. Should have maybe brought the second uh, Sniper. Oh wow, Edwin is really getting hit quite heavily. You cannot kill me. Don't shoot that car, dude. That's where our reward is located. Don't worry about them. This bio-assault trooper hasn't been hit a single time, he's just standing there. I think the first time that he would actually be hit, the pack around him would trigger. I'll give you a sporting chance. Good. Let's position ourselves up here.
cannot see anyone else for now. Definitely trying to just soften up the enemies. So we will stay hidden. Slowly but surely moving in. Frontline starts to engage. Oh, no. So you're telling me that we're just blowing up that car. Could I? Could I just hit the side of the car? Nope, that would not be it. Still not it. reason why I'm asking is uh, I could theoretically blow off one side. That should give us line of sight. That's why we're going to fail the mission. So close, but yet so far. Can't reach it. Can just hope that uh, the items will not uh, be destroyed. That little trick of essentially getting uh, getting the side of uh, the truck open sometimes helps Yeah, not sure if we might have lost the mission. That is unfortunate. Just to one, uh, due to one missed shot. Could have been more careful and marked him first, but I was too greedy. Alright, so finally some some more advent uh, to actually uh, fight against the Dark Elders. Just don't explode, or if you explode, just don't do it and destroy the crate, please. Menace 1-5. The target package has been destroyed. 
Uh. <laughs> oh, too bad. All right, sometimes it is what it is. Good, we're scouting ahead. This will get their attention. The campaign was going too well. We needed to lose one more. To even it out a bit more. That was really unlucky. But what can you do? Sometimes exactly that happens. Continuing to stay down here. Collect the drone on the other side. Moving out of its line of sight. Giving an overwatch to our spark. And since we're really just too cl uh, clustered, um, I would say Grell. Begins to move down here. There's no point uh, for her to stay on the high ground if we're increasing the chance of, uh, of receiving uh, grenades and such. But that captain just double moved without doing anything. That just killed both of the dark elders because they are uh, they cannot attack when uh, when they are burning. Advent is slowly but surely striking back. I like it. I see you. Damn it. I had all of the time. I am uh, a bit annoyed about my impatience. At all of the time in the world. There was really no need to take a sub 100% shot. Knowing farewell that it could set this thing um, up to be destroyed. All right, he just killed a Praetorian. Reloading, and let's uh, lay down a kill zone. Reloading and advancing. It's 
Spark moves over. Euler moves a bit closer as well. And we're overwatching. Hitting the elders hard, very hard. And Grell can finish that guy. Alright, we're still out of uh, line of sight uh, from them. Slowly but surely pushing forward. And here comes the kill zone. First one misses. Second one. Misses. That would have been a kill. Third one. Uh, misses as well. Wow, that sucks. Kill zone can be good, but we need uh, to actually hit them. Good, finally. <laughs> we potentially need to kill that guy. Well, we're killing everybody, but we're, we will... We will uh, face a setback. Maybe we'll lose an area. Plus, uh, the Dark Event Part 2 has just uh, come through. Because when we fail, it will automatically mean that the Dark Event goes through. 81%. Can we somehow remove the cover there? Yes, we can. Good, moving up with Shadow. And let's hit that Dark Elder. Oh wow. Almost no damage. Moving into cover. Here is the axe. Misses. Yeah, the chances of hitting it is too low. And the captain was flanked. So that trigger is implacable. Moving up. And now it's time for overdrive. The gun can easily remove cover even if it does not hit. Fifty-fifty. Nope. Let's try again. Good, there is the cover removal I was hoping for. The enemy should fear us. Teamwork into a nice little gun. 
And that's why Tail and Rounds are so good. Once you flank enemies, they start to hurt. Like really hurt. This could be our next high ground. Until then, let's move up. And it's another overwatch. I'll block the high ground here. Oh, lucky us. Good. The Chosen still is targeting the Elders, which is fine. And the last few Dark Elders are coming through. I think they've cleaned up all of the others. We've nicely participated by being in the combat and at the same time, like, not being in the middle of uh, the combat. Alright, let's soften up this guy. Spark begins to charge forward. There's another Berserker. Sona, run, run and gun. Moving up. That's a nice kill, which brings us ever so close to the front line. Let's shoot and run, shoot and run, shoot and run. A protocol with a threat assessment for Primos, our first spark. Yeah, that it would not be worth uh, risking getting spotted out. <laughs> okay, he's unhappy with uh, the. He's unhappy with uh, the chosen. That would be a kill. Very nice. Let's continue just clearing the battlefield. Nice. Even the spark gets a, uh, gets a kill. That is great. Oh, 
All right. Euler moves up. And Grell moves up. Fantastic. I think the Elder Grotesque would lose this fight, although both of them have similar amounts of hit points. Good, moving up. Closing on target position now. Let's how can we scout these guys? Moving as ordered. I am reloading. reloading. Moving closer and reload. Good. Everybody except these two are dead. So let's approach the hunter. And once we got him where we want him, this here should uh, be easy. Good, time to start harassing. Good, we're blocking so that the Berserker can't move back up. And next turn we're going to engage. Here I come. On Overwatch. Overwatch, reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. And we're a little bit too close. Well, that was not a smart idea, my man. And he gets just pounded on top of, uh, on top of uh, our attack. That's really insult to injury. I love it. Not sure if this is going to flank him, but it is as close as we could uh, to get to a flank. I bet you can't do that again. Moving up here. Since he was so kind to present himself on a pla uh, platter, might as well use that to our advantage. Spark is trying to remove the cover, really. Let's try that again. Well, never mind. He just died. 
Okay, that was far easier, and it's aggravating because uh, I could have won that entire mission. <sighs> the joy of Iron Man, uh, you just gotta live with those losses. Starting to soften the grotesque up. Very nice. I am on the move. I am on watch. All right, Euler gets an aid protocol with a threat assessment, and then we're overwatching with Grell as well. That means two overwatches. And I think that's also the end of the mission. I mean, that one Dark Elder will not do much. That was hilarious and stupid at the same time. Four people are fine on that uh, tower, but no Berserker. Four good, five too much. Yeah, we failed the mission. That is aggravating. Yeah, I think the 30% loss rate on our missions is pretty stable over the time. We had like, what, 27 missions now? And I think we've lost 8 or 9. But that's okay, we at least did not lose anyone. So a volatile mix for some extra damage or chain shot. We're definitely going with chain shot because we need the shredding and funnily enough our spark is promoted we're going with adaptive aim good we got a facility lead i mean that's that's the positive one right so we got a facility lead out of it a couple of supplies on top of it which is fine And a bit of Valerium. But we now have Recursor 2 out of 3. Let me just look that up real quick. Alright, now remember that is the algorithm which is, allows uh, Advent to deep clone an entire squad. Whatever that means, I think it's potentially an enemy that can just summon our entire squad. And we have potentially lost a region, or income, or both. There's Recursor. Yeah, because it was in our home uh, turf, we haven't lost it. But that was close. I had to expect it, at least with a few of these little battles. The elders wouldn't have wasted this much we got we got 5 AP and a few more, plus experience. I mean, overall, I think it was a fair trade. It's kind of a Firic victory. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. We have 42 intel, which should be enough to make a contact. Yes, please. All of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our system. Good, school mining and powered, ar mm, powered armor. 
Ah, so good. The outcome of this research can only further our advances. Nice. So, big chassis, big gauntlets, warden armor, war suit, ref suit, and bow paps. Adding additional upgrade slot, 10 days. Hmm. I told you that I wanted to see a couple of skirmishers in action. So I want to be a man of my word. And since there is no chosen weapon, the Balpups really require any help that they can get. It's not a great weapon compared to the other weapons. New orders, Commander. In terms of building items, armor. Warden armor, 600 supplies. We got everything else. We just need the supplies. And that would forever, ever, ever solve our problem. And that's by far the most important uh, thing right now. So can we get 280 supplies? Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. All right, cannibal corpse, yes, please. Mutant corpse, willing to part with both of them. Collector drones. Not sure what we are using them for, but they are worth a lot. Don't want to give up Intel. Viper Corpse, Nanomech Kits, Viper Rounds. Still have plenty. I hate to sell all of the corpses. Venom round, tracer round, no, we definitely don't want to sell those. Hmm. Trying to find enough money here. Shield bearer. Two Praetorians. Still a little bit more needed. This would solve it. I want to keep the corpses because I want you guys to see a couple of the new items that are fun. So Advent Purifier. Let's just get rid of a few of those. And a few of those. Can't imagine that we would need 20. Haven't researched the cannibals yet. I want to try to keep the alien data cache if possible. I think this is exactly enough. And we kept the data cache. All right, a milestone in human history. Armor, Warden Armor. 
It has seldomly felt so good to upgrade your entire armor right away. I mean, getting that chassis, sure. Getting Hogbite a new weapon, absolutely. I mean, there is a lot that we can build, but that one upgrade, hmm. Sweet, sweet. So if we're now looking at soldiers like, take Grell for instance. Uh, she would have two hit points more because she's currently wounded. So that would be 17 and armor. That's good. I like it. That sounds like I can at least take a hit. And the cool part about it is Warden Armor has two slots. So we can finally, finally start taking more items with us. So a few more consumables. Got all negative traits removed from Roby. Might as well continue here. And overall it was a relatively calm month, right? So we only had like one activity. But okay, I have fair enough. Uh, two more days and sabotage is done. We finally get uh, got our scientist back, so things are speeding up a little bit more. <laughs> Investigate reports of a large chrysalid swarm, together with bandits and dark elders. Operation Storm Mask. That sounds awesome. Let's take a good look. We got the Prime Team ready. And finally, I, I get the feeling that we're, that we're slowly leveling up a team uh, of Corporals. Like, get that main team in there. With the Reaper, it was... Um, fantastic I think that'll be a, a an even stronger class in uh, areas where there is a lot of remote start the Reaper dealt enormous amounts of damage and the ability to work together with a sniper just when you have so many uh, enemies was quite helpful the only thing that we haven't gotten since a long time is loot. Uh, we really haven't gotten any major upgrades for our weapons. I wonder why that is. We can always buy them for Intel, but since I'm equally trying to expand, Intel currently goes into creating more income, which is quite needed. Look at the hit points, guys. Isn't that fantastic? The only one who would have uh, had, uh, who would have n not have so many hit points, is Dilly G, and we just need to keep him a little bit back. Alternatively, uh, one could argue that we can also give him uh, just just a normal armor and go with it. But yeah, this year, great. I like it. This is how much. 17 hit points, 4 armor. Very good. 21 hit points. For once, I can take an enemy shot without feeling like completely, uh, completely overpowered. Oh, such a joy, guys, such a joy. If you enjoy armor, and this run in particular just as much as I do, Leave a comment down below and help a friend out. We got idle staff. Oh, because there is no one, uh, no one. Oh, because we're building nothing. Well, that we can change that quite fast. Uh, Exosuit, no, war suit. Yes, don't have uh, the 
don't have the supplies. Hmm. Well, in that case, in that case, work down here, please. Good. We still have a couple of buildings uh, that would be incredibly helpful. And just from a research standpoint, Wow. I mean, if plasma weapons wouldn't be so absolutely necessary, I would potentially start dabbling into all of those nice little uh, side gigs here. But this is a serious run and we wanted to to survive as long as possible. And I can already see that w the moment that uh, the multi-factions are off the table, which will happen very soon-ish, because uh, I will... Um, start to raid the bandits so then they uh, the bandits are effectively gone and the same will happen with uh, the dark elders at some point we will be fighting against advent and maybe the hive uh, by itself so really we should be going for plasma rifles and for the full weapon upgrades so that our base technology is is high enough this here is so much research. Uh, Advent Assault Trooper, the Scotum Drone, Bio Rocket Troopers, Bio Vipers. Not, I don't even have an idea what all of those creatures will give you. We potentially need the turrets. I could use a faceless one for sure. We haven't really gotten a lot of faceless ones, so Mimic Beacons will be at a premium. But yeah, Mimic Beacon would be great. Chrysalid Juvenile uh, Queen Corpse. That also sounds like something which will give us a huge benefit. Intel, of course, would be good. And the Praetorians can only be researched once we have seven scientists, so we can't even uh, research them yet. I got the feeling that those Praetorians would give us good items, so maybe we're starting with them. Pathfinders don't even have enough. Combat drones need more drones. And yeah, that would require intel. But it's good to have the facility lead in case we need it. Okay, wow, what a ride. Um, that's it for today, I guess, and we see each other in two days. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.